everyone's got a trigger. Something that presses their buttons. Where are my keys? Have you checked the table? And all that built up tension causes stress. I've looked everywhere. Well, you could always walk. And stress makes you irrational. Even Levi. Get up. What? Up. Now. Get. How could you not feel this? I don't know. Especially where his mother's involved. Well, are you coming or not? Yes, sorry. Levi's mum, Miriam, just back from Israel. I knew that'd look good on you. I love it. She's like a surrogate mum. I was at the Bezalel Arts Fair, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, Benny. <laughs> Is that where you got this? It was. Because I was running low on Keypot. Don't be facetious, darling. I love my candlestick. Thanks, Miriam. Carissa? Oh, look at the cat dragged in. Tiana, how nice to see you. Are you joining us? Oh, I don't want to intrude. Actually, I'm here for a meeting. Hey, Levi. Douglas, hi. You didn't tell me you had to work this morning? Oh, no, sadly, Levi and I don't work together anymore. Oh, have you left? No, Levi has. Shall we? When did you leave? If you're not doing anything tonight, um, we're going to be at Magma. Really? We're celebrating. I'm launching a new product, energy drink. It's all natural. Source of organic elderberries from the South Island. Great. Well, don't let us hold you up. Ciao. You left your job? Yes, Mum. Why? And why didn't you tell me? I felt like a change. I had other options I wanted to pursue. Such as? Enough of the interrogation. Ted? Um, well... Elton? She's the only one who still calls me that. I believe I kind of got the sack. Why on earth would they do that? You were the best person they had. Mum, it's fine. But why? I felt like setting up my own business. But don't worry. I have plenty of fish to fry. Mm. Okay, drill seekers. Tonight we're off to Magma. I'm not really in the mood. You want to stay home and blub about Miss Bennett? I never blub. Well, you might have dropped your quest, but I am no quitter. Actually, my quest dropped me, but I'm not going to blub about it. How exactly does going clubbing count as revenge? Douglas is the genius behind Cosmos, the organic soft drink company. Mm -hmm. And he used to be my client until he got stuck with the evil Tiana. Oh. But we always had a connection. Because he's gay? And I'm good at my job. But, yeah, he might have had a little thing for me. So you're going to sleep with him as revenge? I'm going to make sure he is no longer Tiana's client. By sleeping with him? What and learn, babe. Are you in? For sure. You too. But I... Well, I'm staying home to blub. I don't... Well, there's something tidy. I have standards for my entourage. Yep, everyone's got something that presses their buttons. That is awful. Disturbing. Yeah. Disturbingly hot. But wrong. So wrong. We should turn it off. Absolutely. Hello, Mother. I was catching up with some friends and... As it happens, Ben Hoffman's daughter is about to turn 12. Is that maple syrup? I think so. What's that about maple syrup? Spectacular. Are you listening to me? Absolutely. The point is, she's having a bat mitzvah. And I thought you could organise it for them. He'll pay you, of course. I don't need a petty job. Besides, I'm busy. With what? I'm exploring options. In about half an hour, in fact. Well, at least consider it. All right, Mum. That's all I ever ask. Have a good one. I blame you for this, by the way. Hi, guys. Hi, dear. Do we really have to go to some gay bar? I have my reasons. Tiana's going to be there. But what about Alice? She needs to get a leg over. Straight men have been known to go to gay bars. Mm. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. Neither. You watched it. It was forwarded to us. Oh, thank you, Ashley. It was a penetrating glimpse into the world of a Canadian ski instructor, lost in the snowy slopes of love. And it wasn't even that bad. For a sex tape, I mean. It was smoking. Did I say that out loud? Phil. Shit. Hi, everyone. What are you wearing? I think you look nice. Like you're about to read the weather. Do you want a drink? Yes, yeah, she does. A cocktail in a very stylish bar. Ooh, yeah. Let's go, people. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You know what time it is? Sipping lime at Corona uh, Club hot like a sound uh, Way you shake it, I'm like yellow black I need a dollar Give me what I want yeah. Dry vodka martini with a twist? Done. Is that a tail on this? Just a few things. Yes. 
Toby. How's it going? Hey, sexy man. Hey, babe. Who said lesbians don't look good in pink? I've got to hand it to Levi. He's in his element, always working it. And did someone just grab my ass? Hi, Levi. Levi, I'll, I'll come find you. Great. I'm gonna drop a house on that bitch. Or maybe a disco ball. I'll just hang out here then. That is quite a transformation. So nice you're getting out. I was sorry to hear you'd left your promotions. Oh well, new challenges. I'm launching my new products with Tiana's help, of course. Let me buy you a drink. You can tell me all about it. Uh, sorry to be rude, Levi, but I'm about to introduce Douglas to someone. Are you providing the promo girls for the launch? Oh well, well sorry, I, I probably should. Shame. Have fun. I went to. You have to pick yourself up and get on with it. Trust me, I'm an expert. Hey, Moose Girl. Hey, ugly overbite guy. It's really hard to be good when you want to ram a daiquiri down someone's throat. You're not going to, though, are you? No, because I'm a good person and it's a waste of alcohol. I think I did something bad. What? I took E. You took what? In the bathroom. Someone gave it to me. Are you sure it was E? That's what they said. Don't you think it was? Oh my god, what do you think I've taken? What colour was it? Blue. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Well, I'm not really feeling anything. Maybe it wasn't really E. Yeah, I'm thinking it was the real deal. But at least she's chilling. Not stressed. Having a good time. <laughs> a really good time. Hey there. You're a great dancer. Are you gay? Why do you think I'm gay? You're a really great dancer and you're only gay bar. <laughs> no wonder so many happy men. Where are you from? Zambia. I'm on a journey to discover your country. It's so amazing. I'm disappointed you are gay. You are very beautiful. I'm not gay. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry, Mike, I hate to say a bad word about anybody, but she has been trying to sell drugs all night. She's been really indiscreet, and they're not even very good drugs. Right. It's busy. Try the lady. Oh, right. Okay. Thanks. Just ignore it. Who cares about the stupid tape? That I'm thinking about again. It's not the freaking tape. Someone asked me where I got my wig from. Oh. Like I was a drag queen. You're not a drag queen. They're big and scary and they're small and scary. <laughs> Bastard. Hi, Ted. Um, are you having a good time? Yeah, I guess. You got any mascara? Sure, I can hook you up. Hey, on first. You three, out. This is ridiculous. What's going on? Get your hands off me. Yeah, sorry, you wanted to go. Excuse me, catch up. Bye. Touch me again and I'll fight you. I don't understand. Apparently Tiana was selling drugs in the bathroom. No. Hmm. This industry, sometimes it gets the better of people. But at least I don't have to share, you know. It's not the same as your promotions without you. Tiana's enthusiastic, but... But maybe I'm on a different wavelength. Can I ask what they quoted to you? Enough that my partners aren't happy. I shouldn't be saying this, but Willa does like to whack on extra expenses to keep her margin up. She does? But I have no overheads, so I could do you a very good deal. Are you pitching to me? Maybe. <laughs> Look, I know how important the integrity of your brand is to you. If you bring your account over, I'd give it my full attention. And we get to spend more time together. Has anyone ever told you you are a filthy flirt? all the time. I pretty much sealed the deal. What kind of sealing? The professional kind. So there was no... No. 
Suffice to say, one job-stealing bitch is about to receive a metaphorical boot in the patoozie. He seduced Tiana's client. I simply offered him a better deal. No bodily fluids were exchanged. <laughs> <laughs> How's the head? I feel like something died in my mouth. There would be the whiskey and the beers. Oh, yeah, I totally owe you. <laughs> but isn't this a lot of hassle just to get back at Tiana? Let's just say I'm mixing business with pleasure. I do have one small problem, though. I don't have any backing. We support you. Yeah, we do. Not quite what I was getting at, but busy, busy. Ciao. Bye. If nothing else, I thought you might make some contacts for your work, since you do need some. At synagogue. Is that so hard to believe? People take an interest in how you're doing. People is not my problem at the moment. I'm a little low on cash. I see. To build up my business, but I totally love your idea about the bar mitzvahs. Do you now? Yeah. Going back, being part of the community. But you won't go to synagogue. I didn't say no, and if it's important to you... So, how much were you after? Ah, oh, so cynical. I know you, darling. And I'd like to help, but the trip was quite expensive. Okay, if I tell you something, you have to promise you won't make a big deal out of it. Oh, as if I do that. Like what? The guy you met yesterday, Douglas. Oh, yes, I remember. I'm organising a launch for him. Uh, he's very ethical and community-minded, all organic, guys the disabled, that kind of thing. That sounds good. Is he gay? He is. I saw the way he was looking at you. I thought he was a little smitten. Possibly. But do you like him? He's successful, passionate about his product, possibly not my usual type. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. If I can make this launch successful, that would be a great start to running my own business. Who knows where it might lead? Professionally? Or personally? Maybe a bit of both. So, how much again? You're a doll. I have to play squeaky clean by one, I promise. Hey, bye. Someone to see you. Hey there. Hey, I gotta go. Love your work. Ciao. She was at the door when I got back. I hope that's okay. It's fine. See ya. So. What brings you here on the weekend? I had an interesting call from Douglas. Apparently, we're not working with him anymore. Clients can be so fickle. He wanted me to get you the account information to date, so here it is. To live it in person. Is it a bomb? You know something, Levi? No, actually, don't worry. Please, enlighten me. I don't have a problem with you. Actually, I really liked you. <laughs> yeah, that really came across while you were stabbing me in the back. When I first started, I thought you were amazing. You taught me so much, and... Well, I thought maybe you liked me too. You knew I was gay. Some people are bi. Well, I'm not. So, did Douglas have fun last night? I know he likes you. You're here because you're jealous? No, I think it worked out well. And Willow will be pretty happy. To lose an account. <laughs> um, awkward. Didn't you know? Know what? Well, apparently, Douglas's partners want to sell to a multinational who don't want to launch his little drink because it competes with one of their own. No way. Douglas is also in denial. But Willa couldn't cancel the contract, so we had to put up with him. Willa wanted out, and I thought, if I dangled Douglas in front of you, it might be worth a try, and you so went for it. <laughs> so, the gay thing. Sweets after all. Bye-bye, <laughs> style. It isn't what I want. It's awful. So it is true. My partners want to sell, but I don't. So you do have an offer on the table. And if we take it, which is another brand in the global cabinet, we'll have sold our souls. The business will go offshore, my people will lose their jobs. But your partners want to accept? But it wasn't about money. It was about having our own thing. We were three guys in a garage making ginger beer. So it's two against one. Well, it's not a done deal yet. And if I go out with this new energy drink... You will have wasted money on a launch for a product that will get pulled. Well, I thought you believed that you got what I'm about. Yeah, I, I get that you were passionate. Yes. But this is never going to happen. But you said you'd help. You promised me. Babe, that is so unfair. Don't sympathise. I can't stand it. So Tiana really set you up? Oh, yeah. But how could Tiana know you're at brunch? She booked Mum's flights for me back when she was still a larvae. And she knows it's where we always go for brunch. God, I was so outplayed. But you can still get a bag. I just caught in a whole lot of savers. Plonked my mother's money in the venue deposit. Yes, so? My mother is a widow who works as an occupational therapist. She's hardly Ivana Trump. Oh, right. 
Well, eat up. It's really good. Help yourselves. Later. Bye. Hello. Mum? Ted called me. He said you didn't have dinner. My diet is some kind of emergency. Don't be sharp, darling. Ted told me what's going on. God, he's such a sneak sometimes. Oh, he cares about you. Is that so terrible? You must be so worried about Douglas. And I looked up his company website, and it's such a great... I'm not worried about Douglas. I thought you liked him. Sure, but he's a sentimental fool. It's no way to talk about someone you care about. Mum, please. I want you to be happy. And I thought this man... Mum, this was just about business, all right? And shouting to Yana, who's the evil bitch who made me lose my job. She didn't. Oh, yeah, she did. I thought taking Douglas's biz would stick it to her, but it turns out she saw me coming. You did this to get back at her. That was the plan. Why would you go to all that trouble? It's called revenge, Mum. Eye for an eye, a fine old Jewish concept. That's a cheap shot. I didn't raise you to be this kind of person. And what would your father say about this? Probably nothing, because he's dead. Levi! I can see you're hurt. But lashing out like a sulky child is not going to make it any better. Yeah, OK. This is not who you are, Levi. You need to stop wallowing and sort this. And there's a discussion at synagogue on Monday. Are we having one right now? You never know. You might find it interesting. And you owe me. Yes. Good. And now I'm going to hug you. I thought that might be coming. You see, it wasn't that bad. Fascinating. Oh, ben, Ben, this is my son Levi I was telling you about. Pleasure to meet you again. I was thinking about how you're a total soft cop. I'm not. But you don't need to be down about Miss Bennett. Okay. Because I could take your mind off it. And if you want it, you could wear this. Unless you want to be a Mountie. Whoa, freaky. But is it candy pushing my buttons? or the moose. The fact is, this is a real opportunity. A go-ahead brand with potential for expansion. It would be a crime to let it go offshore. And it's complementary to your other businesses. But being pushy doesn't always work. I'm sorry I mucked you around, but I don't know what else I can say. Actually, I had a couple of questions for you. Well, what's the point? If we're counting... About your business partners. Well, they want money, that's all there is to it. But they can't make me sign. It'd be like cutting out my own liver. Douglas, stop. I found someone who's interested in investing in your company. Like who? They're local. They like your brand. You could buy out your partners and stay on. If the figures stack up. No, this can't be happening. You could if you wanted to. Oh my God, Levi. This is incredible. It's not a done deal. And you'll need to talk to Ben. He'll want due diligence. You are amazing. I, I don't know what to say. It's... I think you would probably do. Um, I... I thought you'd like me. Douglas, you're a client. But you did all this for me. If this works out... Then you'll be a client which is very important to me. And that's all. I think you're a great guy, but I feel that we should keep it professional. Sure. Hello, Mother. I just got off the phone with Ben's wife, and they are thrilled with what you're doing for the bit mitzvah. I always give things my best. And Ben's very pleased you took him Cosmos. Just being positive and making sure I can pay you back. And how is Douglas? Look, Douglas is a nice guy, but he's not the one for me. Oh, so you think there might be a one? Mum, stop pestering. I just want you to meet a nice man and maybe one day have a baby with a Jewish lesbian. Is that so wrong? I'll keep you posted. You better, or I'll call Ted. Gotta go, Mum. I'm just pleased you did the right thing. And took your advice. That too. Thanks. Now, I really need to go. Keep sharing the love. You got me flowers. Lisa, to say thank you. What for? For giving me Douglas, of course. <laughs> His company's being sold. You haven't heard. Awkward. He's got a new investor. 
local right behind him, so his brand is safe. And I've started my own company too, Jumping Jack. So if you've got any other clients you want to pass on, here's my card. See ya. So yes, Deanna's face was a picture, and on the quest front, I aced April. So did Alice. I guess. You did. Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to go and see my lawyer. I still can't believe you did all that for me. I'm a little confused as well. I was just trying to be good. So did they charge you with shoplifting? That's kind of the least of my worries. There was already a warrant out for me. What for? A few unpaid parking tickets. How many? Um, about three grand's worth. Oops. And um, they also kind of charged me with fraud. Because of the parking? It was like a misunderstanding. You're bringing the same plate to a potluck is a misunderstanding? Fraud is a... It was my ex, Christos, two-timing manho. I was pissed off with him, so I took his credit card and went shopping. In Vegas. I like your style. <laughs> yeah, but then he reported it. Oh, no, poor you. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But, you know, just because I've hit a little speed bump in my quest doesn't mean I'm going to stress about it or give up. And neither should anyone else. I mean you. Oh. Stop whimpering. Just say yes, I will continue my quest to win Miss Bennett and stop being a soft cock. I'm not being a soft cock. Prove it. You're in now in public. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna give up. Yay! Go you! We love you! Yes, you have defrauded our hearts. Oh, God, how fruity was that? We need martinis. <laughs> That's also kind of fruity. Come here. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty awesome for a bossy, slutty chick. What are you staring at? Your face. Your face? Because I'm not going to say I keep seeing the moose. <laughs>